If you've got time, think of your tree situation and give a give it a chop. Get some more wood. Because remember, tree guards don't come out till day three apparently. So you need to keep on top of that. Okay, got plenty, so we'll make another. Keep the uh, pine cones with you, but don't plant them yet. Don't leave them yet. There is a reason for that. I'll show it you. In a, I'll show it you later. Okay, so we've got a, a thing, crank thing. So we'll obviously go and pick that up because we need it. And we have a oh, we have a free axe. Thank you. Oh, I don't want you evil. Get down off. Pick up that. Now we're still. A bit, I know it's only a tiny bit of savannah, but it's still no good. The beef is still way too close. And also, you don't want to get too close to the pigs, because at the end of the day, full moon. Like, um, however many were pigs running around, and you don't want that. Were pigs are actually nasty. They run very fast. Okay, we're going to have to think about a backpack soon, which is okay. But for now, we'll keep running around. See, that's all we're going to need. But of course, we're going to need to make a, a science machine for that. Okay, so let's have a look where we are. Okay, well, I think we'll move back down now. We'll come back down. And open these, come off the beaten path a bit and open these up. Your first few days are about exploring and gathering, basically. Keep getting your grass. Keep getting your um, saplings. You don't really need to keep getting flint because now once you've got some uh, enough flints to make a pickaxe, you'll be able to get flint from rocks that you're passing by anyway. But if you see some and it's, on your, and it's in your way, just grab them. I'm not chopping him, don't worry, don't need to. Okay, so we started to low on food again, so we'll just uh, eat some up. Get that top back up. Let's keep going. So our saplings. When you make a, if you make a campfire, try and make it close to somewhere where you can be kept busy. So keep it close to a forest, Keep it close to, not so close that it burns it down, but keep it close to a forest, keep it close to, um, say, a place where there's lots of rocks. So while the night's passing, you can be basically destroying things. And uh, and that, because you're still only, you're still lift, building up your resources, which is always a good thing. Now, I usually don't stop moving until it's nearly, till darkness is nearly closed in, it's ready to go. But keep your eye on that clock in the top right corner because as soon as, when it gets too close, start to get your campfire ready. Okay. Well, for instance, if you really wanted to keep busy, putting, a, say, a campfire somewhere like here and just starting to take these trees out, that'd be a good thing. Okay, let's, uh, let's join this up. I do like to join areas up as well. I don't like to leave big areas of blackness between things like this because you don't know what's hiding there. It could be something like a wormhole. So, you know, it could be something important. So I always make sure I reveal as much as possible. I mean, a lot of this might sound obvious and, you know, logical and all that, but, you know, sometimes it's not... When you're actually doing it, for some people, it's not always. So uh, you have to be understanding of that. See, now we've got a spider here, so I know we've got spiders somewhere over here. Now, you don't really want spiders too close to you when it comes to, to night time. See, I'm going to put my fire, my fire pit right here. My next uh, campfire, sorry. I'll put it right here, far enough away from the trees so they won't burn, but uh, close enough so that I can still do some chopping 
and collecting. And remember, it's day three tomorrow. So after day three, tree guards can start to spawn. In, so you've got to always be wary of that. And well, the chances are small, but you've got to be wary of it. Right, now, if you look here, well, in bottom corner, it says fireflies. What you could do is you could do remembering places like this because eventually you're going to want a miner's hat. Now, the good thing about a miner's hat is it leaves your hands free. And well, yeah, you can still run round. You can hold a torch and still run round. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, that'll give you light, obviously. But it means if you need to fight or you need to chop a tree down or, or whatever, you can't do it because as soon as you switch to something else, everything goes black. You need to, uh, you could do with a miner's hat, which is, which of course takes fireflies. So you're gonna need fireflies. But the problem is to catch fireflies, you need a net. And for net, you need silk. So silk, you're gonna need spiders. See, that's what I like about this game. It's not just a straightforward, like put these two things together and you've got it. You know, it's components that you get together to make things. And that can, means you've got to do other things. So it all comes together in the end. Grass suit, lovely. I'm not, I'm not in no rush to find, you know, to, or, or in any worry about finding a base right now. Wait till you find the right base. You need somewhere that's got uh, rabbit holes. You need rabbits, simple as. Rabbits, is, to me, personally, just my personal feeling, rabbits is one of the best foods out there. I know people do a lot of growing of uh, their own stuff, and I, and I know that really does is good and helps but personally i just think rabbits are, are probably the best food source in the game because you can just in a savanna you know they just keep spawning and spawning and spawning you put some traps down and you've got never-ending food it just keeps falling in your lap you know when the thing is uh, with you know if you look at um like farms they get affected by winter Whereas rabbits don't. They, well, they do. They change into them beardlings and call it them blue rabbits. But you can still kill them and you can still eat them. So even then, they're still a source of food. Whereas berries, carrots, all that, they just don't... You know. Well, not carrots. Carrots don't anyway. If you pick them, they don't grow back. But I'm just saying, berries don't grow back on bushes as quick or at all. So you've got to be wary of that. Remember, if you want to catch some spiders early on, right? Okay, so say you want to think about making a net because you've found your a place to be. I mean, it doesn't matter how early you, you start this. It'll, it'll do it anyway. So you can make... One second, sorry. You can make a trap or a couple of traps. Put them down. Oops, sorry, make another one. I ain't got enough, I ain't got enough. Because it's six at a time, it's six grass at a time. That's what I think, that's what I'm saying. The resources are very heavy. So you've got to sometimes consider that when making things. Let me just see if I can find <laughs> one more grass. I'm like one grass short. We'll make two uh, two of these, hopefully, anyway. I can't believe that this that there's so little grass. I actually usually find a lot more. This is strange, this one. I didn't actually think about it. I, ca I actually thought to myself, I've been a bit lax collecting grass, and then it turns out there just isn't any. Okay, well, axe will do. I'll axe it to death if I can't find none. No, no, grass just don't want to show itself at all. Oh, well, never mind. I can do it anyway. So you've got your... Let me just get to, to get to my trap. So you let's just say you found your base and you want to um, you want some silk. Just step on the there you are, get one to come out, and then just stand in front of that and trap will catch him. Then all you do is just pick it up, and there you are. You've got some. Now I don't need that. I'm after silk. But it don't matter. You can put it down again. Let's get another one. Same tactic. Just keep running around your trap. Trust me, you'll get him. 
So then me so then me trap just lets him go. No. He don't this trap don't want to work for me. Come on, this time. Yeah, got him. So we'll pick that up. And we've got some monster meat instead. Put that down, don't need it, but still. Cause you're gonna do it anyway, because when they stop spawning, you can uh when they stop spawning, you, I told you, look, there's some, they're kicking that frog, that, um, they're beating up that pig. I knew that was going to happen. You're going to get some silk anyway, when you just, because in a minute, when they stop spawning out here, you, just, just attack it. And when you kill this, um, when you kill it, you're picking up silk anyway. There you go. So we've got some silk anyway. So that gives you an idea, you can do it that way. As it is. Okay, so let me just have a look at my map and start planning again. So, I'm going to run and have a look what's over this part here. Now, we're coming up to the darkest, to the dawn of day three. So, I'm going to pause it here. And then next time I come, next time I do, we'll do... We'll carry on from where I left off and see if we can find... A nice base where we can get some food and that. So, uh, yeah. Ah, here we are. Look, starting to find some rabbit holes. This place is all right because... I know I said I was going to go, but... <laughs> this place is all right, but dangerous. You've got to remember, you've got your... You know, you've got these these guys, the tall birds. They're always going to be a danger. You've always got to watch for them. But it's just that they're so amazingly wonderful for rocks that, you know, always remember where this kind of place is. You'll always have a time for this. And also, it's, it's not a bad place to put a fire pit, if you wish, because it's nice and open, and you've got eggs there, as long as you can find a place far enough from any um, tall birds. Because tall birds won't walk a long way away. Pardon me. Tall birds won't walk a long way away from their eggs. So, as long as you stay a respectable distance away, you can actually put a fire pit down and uh, be, be perfectly safe. As long as when you, rem you remember when you do take their eggs... They're going to chase you quite a distance. So, And then I find loads of grass. <laughs> That's just my way. Okay, so... Uh, tell you what, we'll just we'll just take it to night time. When night starts poaching. Then when I start again, we it will be... Uh, oh, there you go. Toothy Bottom and the Savannah. So, uh, let's hope... Well, there's some rabbit holes. Let's hope it's bigger. And we don't want any beefalo on it. Two rabbit hole. Oh, no, it's not very big, that. It's not giving us a really big savannah. But we've got four, we've got four rabbit holes if we really need to. If we're to push, we really need to. You could put one round here. It's near a road. I always like to put... Uh, I'll pause it there. I always like to put my campfire near a road. Because then if I ever get lost, I just find a road and just follow it. And eventually I'll get back. And also you'll get back at a greater speed. So you can outrun hounds and all that kind of stuff. Okay. So that's the start of it for me. It's uh, it's not a bad start. We haven't had no real trouble. But we haven't been tested yet. When hounds come then we will be. All I can say is take your time building things up. Don't try and be. You know don't try and get everything done in the first few days. You're not trying to beat the game in 10 days. So take your time. I mean, I've got nearly 200 days with Wilson. Uh, with, um, sorry, Wolfgang. And I have, I've only just gone down in the caves. So it shows how long, you know, I tend to take building up. But if you want to really have a stable game and really be able to fend off deer clops. I mean, I've just killed deer clops in my, in, on that Wolfgang one. And I didn't even have to raise a finger. I had so many tooth traps down from killing hounds that I ran him over tooth traps again and again and they all killed him. You know, so I didn't have to raise a finger. That would deer clops dead. So, you know, if you want that kind of security, it takes time. So be willing to take your time and build up. Anyway, I'm going to go and I'll carry on this uh, either tomorrow or day after. So you take care. Hope this helps and bye for now.